Good morning. It's Monday, May 1st, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Sheep of His Pasture, and our scripture is Psalm 100. Shout with joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Go into His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name, for the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever, and His faithfulness continues to each generation. Sheep are not warring creatures. They've been domesticated for thousands of years and are by nature gentle. They communicate with sounds and body language much like any other species, locating food, alerting the flock to predators, and singling out their family position. Perhaps one explanation of why God's word characterizes the people of God as sheep and tells us to shout loud praises to our Lord is because sheep will bleat loudly and continuously when near their food source. Domesticated sheep tend to view their shepherd as their food source. That has some strong implications for the relationship between God and the sheep of his pasture. The sheep of God's pasture have a gentle posture. In teaching the crowds of would-be followers, Jesus offered rest and strength to weary sheep. Matthew chapter 11. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. John's Gospel changes the metaphor from shepherd and sheep to vine and branches, but the relationship is clearly the same. John chapter 15, Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit, or wool. (laughs) For apart from me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want, and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love, just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. For you today, sheep with a shepherd and branches with a vine, earthy examples of the way God loves and provides. This is an open invitation to join the flock, stay close to the Good Shepherd, and have eternally overflowing joy. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.